Hey guys, this is Matt for cgtuts.com and today we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're not going to have a modeling tutorial today, but this quick tip instead is going to be on how to slightly customize uh, Modo and start adding in uh, your own commands and macros and things like that to the user interface. Now, one of the things that I've often found in the past is that if I select a bunch of polygons and activate the move tool, what I occasionally want to do is, instead of moving them from the center, I want to move them, say, from this point down here. And I can do that by going up to Action Center and clicking on Element. Now, what this does is it allows you to right-click on any face, point, or edge in your uh, current mesh layer. So I could click on this uh, vertex down here. And what you will see is when you hover over it, it slightly highlights blue. And so when it highlights blue, you right click and you can see that this axis moves and snaps directly to that point. And then we're able to move all of these polygons or your current selection from wherever you clicked on your mesh. And that's a really useful function. Now, there is a slight problem with this, however, in that if you, say, wanted to right click on this vert and then scale things down in world space, say along the Z axis, so they're all flat, if I activate the scale tool, you can see that we're not going to be able to scale things down until they're perfectly flat along the Z axis. Now, Modo, being the application that it is, has thought of this already. And if we come up here to Action Center, come down to Axis and select Auto, it realigns this gimbal to the world space of your scene. And with this selected and the axis still snapped to the vertex that we clicked on, we're free to scale down on that axis. So this is a, a really useful tip, but you know, maybe we can make it a bit simpler. At the moment you have to come up, click elements, then come up again and click axes and auto. And that is just maybe too many clicks for my liking. So as an example thing of how to record macros and add them to the UI, we're gonna quickly record a little macro to make those two clicks into one click. And we're gonna do that by coming up to Action Center and clicking automatic. I'm gonna quickly get rid of our selection. And we're gonna use the macro system, which is up here in the system menu down here. And you can see record macro. So I'm going to click that guy, and now anything that we do in the viewport is being recorded. So the first thing I want to do is come up to Action Center and click Element. I'm then going to come up to Action Center again, come down to Axis and click Auto. So those are two steps that we did before to get the gimbal snapped to a point on our mesh and then lined up with the world space. So with that done, I'm going to come up to System and click Recording Macro again. And that will basically stop the recording process. Now with that done, we can come up to System and click Store in Config, and that's going to basically store that macro within the Modo system. So if we click that guy, we get this little box up, and you can see I've done this before. I'm going to set the name to Element Auto Axis, and this can be absolutely anything you want. And the description, you don't have to put this guy in, but it's always good to go in and add a little of a uh, kind of helping hand to yourself in case you find it later on. So with those two things in place, I'm going to click OK. Now what? Where is it? Well, if we come down here to command, a nice little tip I uh, discovered the other day by watching some of Brad Peebler's videos, is that if you grab the top of the command box down here and pull up, we get the command history. And in here you can see we've got undos, history, command, scripts, and results. And the scripts is highlighted, and in here we have the macro that we just created already highlighted for us. So Modo does that automatically. Now what we can do is we can run this. And uh, we do that by right-clicking on it and clicking Run. So if I was to come up here, change our Action Center back to Automatic, and you can see that's got a tick next to it now. If I come down, right-click on our new macro and click Run, nothing really happens. But if we come up to Action Center, you can see that our center is set to Element and our axis is set to Auto. So we know that that macro is working. But what would be even better is if we could add that macro as an option in this menu. So we want it to be just under element, say. Now, how do we do that? Well, Modo, again, makes it very simple for us. What we can do is come up to the system uh, menu at the top here. And we're going to come up to where it says Form Editor. Now, if you click this, you open up a whole world of kind of discovery into Modo because you can create your own UIs. You can edit all of the UIs that are already available to you within Modo. And uh, they make it ridiculously easy. Basically, we have this Find Form button here. So what you can do is click this, and it says click in a Forms view. I'm going to come up and click on our Action Center dropdown. So click that. It automatically finds where it is in all of the forms in Modo, so it makes it nice and simple for us. And you can see down here, underneath Action Center, we have Automatic, Selection, Selection Border, Selection Center, Element, Screen, basically everything 
that is in this menu. Now we want to create a new option underneath element. So what I'm going to do is click on element. I'm going to right click and duplicate. And you can see we now have two element options. Now at the moment they do exactly the same thing. So we obviously want to change this bottom one. The first thing I'm going to do is come over here to where it says label and change it to element auto. So we know what it is and we distinguish it from this element option here. Then down here you can see we have this command. This is what we want to basically uh, change to fire off our macro that we recorded and it's currently sitting over here. But what command do we put in? Well, we want to right click where it says element auto axis. I'm going to come down and click map script to key. And you can see down here at the bottom of the box we have command. Now what I'm going to do is grab all of that and copy it on my keyboard. I'm going to hit control C to copy that and then click cancel because at the moment we don't want to map it to a key. That's a whole other tutorial, but again, very simple. And then with our element auto selected, I'm going to come down to command and I'm going to paste our command into there. So you have this app sign and then the address of the macro basically. And with that done, that's pretty much it guys. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to delete this form. So I close this form, get rid of that. Then I'm going to come up to action center and click automatic. And we have things as expected, we have the gimbal in the middle of our selection aligned to the world axis. I'm then going to come up and click Action Center and come down to Element Auto. And if we click that guy, we can now highlight and right click on any one of these elements, like so. We'll snap to any element in our selection or in our entire mesh even, and the gimbal aligns to the world space. So this is really just a quick introduction to kind of altering the UI in Modo and adding extra interfaces and adding macros in. Uh, I'm going to do a whole bunch of extra tutorials on this, hopefully, but uh, there is a wealth of information over on the Luxology site about this kind of stuff. So I really recommend you get involved in the forums and kind of have a look around there because people really are starting to pick up on the power that is inherent in the Modo UI. But uh, yeah, I hope that's been a nice introduction for you guys. Um, feel free to leave me any comments below, questions or anything like that. If I've gone over anything too quickly, uh, you can always follow me on Twitter. I am at Bad Granola. That's B-A-D-G-R-E-N-O-L-A. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys. Cheers.